The Idaho State game was a really a disappointing game for our, our program and our team and just felt like we got outplayed. I, th I think they, they came at us really physically um, and aggressive and we didn't respond very well to it. Um, it just looked like we weren't playing as hard as they were and, um, and made crucial mistakes in the first half and, and then even finished the half poorly to give them a 12 point lead. So uh, it's just, you know, you take into a 12 point lead, at ha they have a 12 point lead and then you've got to fight back on the road. And I thought we showed some better spark in the, in the second half, but overall it was a team I think that just wasn't prepared. I think we got a little soft and maybe, I mean, it's crazy, but you only win two games in a row and maybe you start thinking you're okay. And, you know, I spoke about us, I felt better about our team and turning the corner and more competitive, and then we kind of lay an egg in the first half and put ourselves in a, a real hole that we couldn't quite get out of. And um, so I think it was a lesson learned. At least we were able to show a lot of a lot of film, and um, and I think we got a better response when we took the floor the next night. The road is really a difficult place to to try to get healthy and to to feel good about yourself. Um, we came out and played really hard. We rebounded the ball great. We got second chance points or second chance opportunities, but we just didn't finish any any uh, opportunities in the first half. It felt like, again, it's one of those, we've been through this a few times, but it felt like we should have really had a big lead, had got great looks at the basket, um, and got rebounds. So the one thing that they did very well, which was offensive rebound, all of a sudden we're just dominating the offensive glass, but it didn't correlate into points. It keeps going back to a, a consistency for our team We've got to figure out how to play 40 minutes, and uh, we've got to figure out how to execute better. I think one thing that we've got to do better is at the end of game situations. We haven't handled those very well, uh, so we're spending a lot of time on those on those kinds of situations. Whether we're you know you put your team down four, just like the game happened at, at Weber. We were I think it was a four point game, and Weber had the ball under the at the four minute mark, and uh, just putting our team in those positions, getting calls in their heads that they're clear about and, and confident in, getting a little bit more pressing and aggressive play out of us instead of so much reactive. There's a lot of things we can really improve on, uh, but the bottom line is is so much, of our, our, so much of our success is going to rely on our execution on the offensive end. I'm so impressed with this league and top to bottom and, you know, I don't think anyone's just off the charts better than everyone else and, and pulling away from the rest of the league. Um, I think you see that the road is is hard to pick up games, so you clearly have to do some uh, do your homework and, and take care of home and, and do everything you can to, to get the home wins that you can and and again the teams that are going to be the most successful are going to get on the road and steal some games here and there. Uh, we haven't proven ourselves to be able to do that, but this is a this is a big weekend for us. We need to come home and, and protect our home court, but. Again, I, I don't even look at it so much in, in the big picture. I just want us to figure out how to play a more consistent 40-minute game, one game at a time. And, and I, again, if we do that and if we prepare ourselves a little bit better and, and concentrate and find a way to execute a little bit better through those 40 minutes, I think we'll be fine if we, if we um, stay within our system and uh, stay committed to what we want to do. But it starts with Northern Arizona on Thursday night.